we are still factoring completely. Here's A, here's B, here's C. 2 times 15 is 30. 1 times 30. 2 times 15. 3 times 10. And 5 times 6. Will any of those combine, either add or subtract, to be 1? And that's going to be our 5 and 6 here. We can do 5 minus 6, which equals negative 1, or 6 minus 5, which equals positive 1. We need negative 1. So we're going to use the first one. We've got 2x to the 4th. And uh, I actually am going to switch these around. I know I don't do that very often. But 5 goes with 15, maybe a little bit better than 6 does. So I'm going to do minus 6x squared plus 5x squared minus 15. You do not have to do that. You could put the plus 5x squared here, the minus 6x squared there. <coughs> we will end up in the same place. The biggest number that divides into 2 and 6 is 2. Between x to the 4th and x squared, it's the lowest exponent. <coughs> 2 divided by 2 is 1. We had 4x's. We took out 2 of them. We still have 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. We had 2x's. We took them out. In our next group, the biggest number that divides into 5 and 15 is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. x squared. 15 divided by 5 is 3 and we end up with x squared minus 3 and then 2x squared plus 5 problem number 6 3 times 10 is 30 this is A, this is B, this is C so we did 3 times 10 we just wrote down those factors on the last problem, 1 times 30 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. This time we need 13. And that's going to require us to pick one of these. And we can get 2 minus 15 is going to give us negative 13. Or negative 3 minus 10 is going to give us negative 13. And we actually need the first choice because our last sign is a negative. So when we multiply positive 2 times negative 15, we would get a negative value. Whereas if we took negative 3 times negative 10, we would get a positive value. And our last sign here is negative. So the first one here, 3x to the fourth minus 10, and then it's going to be plus 2x squared minus 15x squared. We group <coughs> and um, our greatest common factor is going to be the lowest exponent of x squared. We didn't do anything with the numbers. We had 4x's. We took out 2. We still have 2. We didn't do anything with the numbers, but we had 2x's. We took them out biggest number that divides into 15 and 10 is 5. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is positive 3. x squared. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is positive 2. And then what we see is that we've got 3x squared plus 2 and x squared minus 5.